Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you on a day in the life vlog of some software development going on, uh, going through how I solve different bugs in the code, how I find solutions to problems, and also to taking you through my co-working space and just talking about am I really passionate about coding and getting really personal with you. So I hope you enjoy the vlog and make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. And before we get into it, I want to as always do a shout out to some of these awesome subscribers. Thank you for your support, your comments, your feedback. You know the drill, I love you. Okay, let's get into the vlog. Hey friends, morning. I am just about to go out for an early morning walk around 5.30 this morning. Paul thought it'd be a good idea to get up and um, go golfing. So I'm gonna go get a little walk in to get some exercise in before work. And I thought I would take you along to kind of talk to you about what's been on my mind regarding my career, coding, um, and kind of next steps for me. So let's go. Okay, hey, good morning again. Um, so as I was kind of saying, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about really how I've been feeling lately with life, my career and everything. It's just, it seems like I think because we're all at home and have been for so long, and especially, you know, if you're in Canada, it's still going on, the lockdown and all of that. Um, I've just felt very demotivated to do anything, like things that I would, you know, need to check off to get, you know, to the next step in my career or a promotion or anything like that. I just like, I'm like, I just push it off. And it's so not like my personality or, you know, what I usually do. And it kind of stresses me out that I'm feeling this way. Um, and I don't really know why. So I don't know if anyone else has felt this way recently because of everything going on in the world or anything like that. And I just don't really know what to do to get it back you know usually it would be okay let's go on a vacation let's go on a trip let's go somewhere warm and uh right now we can't because if we leave the country we have to quarantine for two weeks when we get back which makes it really tough with the dogs and um some of paul's businesses so anyways i'm just trying to find ways to kind of get my motivation back or get my my groove back i guess you could say and um if you have any suggestions, please leave it down for me in the comments because I'm not getting too far with it. Okay, I got my iced Americano now. I feel like a human a bit more. Um, probably more than I sounded like when I was talking to you before coffee. But um, I'm going to finish this conversation back at home. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay, hi friends. I am back home. I kind of got ready-ish. I put a t-shirt on and jeans. Um, actually, a different tech t-shirt. Uh, but anyways, yeah, as I was saying, I just feel like there has been way more than usual for me moments of demotivation, not feeling like doing anything. Um, and it really is stressing me out because it's at the point where I don't want to get behind on things, whether it be career or personal life. And I don't know, I just, it's been really tough. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. I'm just trying to keep it real with you um, about things that I've been experiencing. But I also had a conversation with a friend recently about it and they made a good point that, so I was questioning, well, maybe this is something to do with coding or the career path or career track I'm on. Maybe it's just not for me, but really no matter what job you are doing, are you passionate about it 24 seven? Are you like excited to wake up 24 seven? I don't think so. That's why there's vacation. That's why there's time off. And I think I'm just in that slump where typically I would be going on vacation, but right now, can't so I think it's just one of those slumps that you just got to get through um, but also too if you are someone who has had this feeling of when, especially when you're learning coding and you feel like well maybe this isn't for me you know maybe I'm not passionate about it make sure that you know it's not just because you're learning something new or you're going through a difficult period of time that it's actually maybe something you don't like because a lot of times those two emotions can get mixed quite easy I also think too, I'm feeling a little burnt out because of, you know, balancing my career as a software developer and consultant mixed with Tiffin Tech, like Tiffin Tech content creating and dealing with the business side of things. That's a full-time job on its own as well. And essentially doing two full-time jobs is not something I am proud of, but it's something that I'm doing right at the moment, essentially. And it's 
it's a lot. It gets tiring, but I wouldn't have it any other way right now. You know, I love making content for you and connecting with you and helping you through your journey in tech and, you know, your personal journey or anything like that and sharing mine too with you. So although I wouldn't necessarily change anything, sometimes it can be need a moment, but Anyways, I guess that's why you just keep on, you know, investing back into the company and into yourself and hiring the right people to help out where, where possible. So I don't know. These are my morning um, thoughts and rambles and whatever. And now it's time to, it's almost time to go to my first morning meeting, which is a stand up. I've told you about this before, but basically we talk about what we did the day before, which in my case was uh, Friday. And then what we're doing today, and if we have anything blocking us or stopping us from doing our work. Um, and yeah, so I'll take you along with me throughout my day today and continue to just talk to you about this stuff. Okay, so I started my morning by working on two different defects that were assigned to me. If there typically are defects, it's because the implementation was wrong with the code base or the requirements were changed, usually though the implementation of the code. And for the defects, a lot of you have been asking, or a few of you I should say, about how to solve uh, defects and kind of my process for it. So although I can't show you my screen because it's work related, my process typically is I will find the place in the code that was causing the defect. If I'm not sure that that was the place, I will comment it out or remove it just to see if it kind of uh, breaks it even further um, to really understand exactly as to where the defect is. If I'm still having issues solving it, of course, you know, depending on what I'm working with, I will use different debuggers. And then also too, I find really helpful if you're working on a team project is to whomever implemented the code in the first place, going to their previous PR and seeing the code that they implemented. So you can see kind of more from a story aspect as to where they implemented the code and maybe get a better understanding as to where this defect came from and what was the original purpose of uh, the code that was put in. And yeah, different defects take different amounts of time. Some are super quick to solve. Others can be a nightmare or a headache, but usually they're pretty, pretty straightforward. Okay, I am on my way to the our co-working space. Um, it's lunchtime, so I'm also going to get a snack um, before I get there. And uh, yeah, kind of continue our conversation, but I, I hope my kind of like rambles this morning about my mixed emotions about, you know, coding and just career made sense to, to you a little bit. I, I guess it's really, you know, normal to feel that way, to feel like, up and down about everything and I think that's completely you know just it is what it is um, but I think it's one of those things that I used to always when I felt this way be able to take time off for vacations and now you know in Canada we are very limited to doing that so just trying to find other things to relax and enjoy life still um, but yeah that's kind of my update on it so once again if any of you are out there feeling like you want to give up on coding or any kind of industry you are in really not just coding make sure to check yourself if it's just because you're feeling burnt out or tired or if it's actually something that you're not interested in because I think a lot of us get those two emotions mixed up very frequently uh, as some of you have been asking too why we ended up getting a co-working space so as many of you know I work full-time from home um, I'm would have been in office at IBM if it wasn't for, uh, you know, this past year, everyone working remotely. But honestly, I love working from home and the co-working space because it's so close to where we live. So it's like a five minute drive, which is so convenient um, that I don't really want to go back into office, but we will see how that plays out. But it's just nice to have a balance of going to the co-working space and then working from home. Um, but I'm curious, do you prefer to work from home or a co-working space or office? Or would you like a mixture of, of some of them? Let me know in the comments. Uh, and I want to see if any of you are like me that would rather do a co-working space and also work from home. I think I gave you a bit of a tour of the co-working space, but I'll take you in it today again and uh, show you a little bit about where I work and Hi. Okay, I clearly forgot to film inside the um, 
co-working space, but I will attach or I will insert some photos right here of what it looks like. It's obviously this gorgeous open space and it's really quiet right now, which is so nice. Everyone has a ton of space to work and uh, I really like going there. So hopefully it stays pretty quiet because it's one of the main things I like about it. Um, now I'm just finishing up some work. I finished the two defects I was telling you about this morning and am starting to, well, still can work still working on a cloud course I'm taking. It's an IBM cloud course uh, that I'm taking. I am really interested in the cloud, but right now I'm not working with it. So I just wanna take a course and get certified more so and kind of explore that path. And also I wanted to give you an update. Last vlog, I mentioned to you, I was taking the blockchain course. I am still taking it and really enjoying it. It's been going a bit slower than I thought it would because of everything going on. Um, but I'm definitely going to carve out more time actually this week to focus on it. So next vlog, there will be a further update on the uh, blockchain course. Okay, hey friends, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up now. I hope you enjoyed kind of my rambling thoughts about why sometimes I just feel like I'm not passionate about coding, but I always remind myself that, you know, I love what I do. I love the freedom, flexibility, um, the financial freedom it brings, all of the above, and I genuinely love what I do, but it doesn't mean that there are days or moments where I'm just like, just, I wanna be a surf instructor living on a beach, but I think we all want to do that. But maybe, maybe coding will get me there one day. I don't know, I guess I could code and be a live or like a digital nomad. Now I'm thinking. Anyways, I wanted to let you know though that a really cool video I have coming up is with my boyfriend, Paul, for those of you who don't know, uh, he is a serial entrepreneur. I'm gonna sit down with him and talk to him about how to start a business uh, coming out of COVID. And I think he has some really great insights on this as he literally has done that. Um, started a new business coming out of COVID and just some of the things that he's been an entrepreneur for ever pretty much um, since his 20s and he's in his 40s. Yes, there is an age gap. Uh, so oh, there's some window washers coming. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this up now. I'm going to go hang out with, I'm going to go hang out with the doggies and watch a program. Thank you all for watching. Leave in the comments other things you want to see in the vlogs. I promise you they will be, continue to get more and more exciting as you know, things in Canada, the lockdown lifts very shortly here next month. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding videos, and I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone.